for hand posture, this is where um, starting right is truly crucial in terms of how far you're going to progress. The best way to think about how your hands should be positioned at the keyboard is pretend you're going to ride your bicycle. When you grab your handlebars, your handlebars generally on most bikes are going to be fairly parallel to the ground. When you grab those handlebars, your knuckles are pretty much in line. You're not holding down like this. I mean, some bikes do have that set up, but the typical mountain bike will have flat handlebars like this. Um, basically pretend you're grabbing your handlebars, open up your fingers, place them on the keys. You want good curvature. That handlebar posture is crucial in terms of your thought process of shaping the fingers in such a way that you have strength when you play. A lot of the times it's just easier to drop our elbows and what happens is the knuckles are not in line with the keys anymore. The keys are flat but our knuckles are now pointing downwards and what happens is our weakest finger is taking the brunt of that posture and we don't want that. We want our pinkies to be strong so that when you press down you're getting the maximum force of that finger. Uh, and another interesting thing is that these three fingers move straight whereas your thumb comes inwards and your pinky comes inwards a little bit more. So you almost need to really wing out your elbow to get a good strong press in your, in your pinky finger there. So ideal situation is pretend you're grabbing your handlebars of your bike, open up your fingers slightly so you get that round posture and when you press you want as much of a vertical press as possible um, without hitting your nails, you want to be using the softer tissue of your fingertips here. So practice just winging out your elbows and making sure that those pinkies feel nice and strong, not using the sides of them because that's not going to help you when you start playing some really advanced works, especially when you need to reach an octave or more if you can. You won't have that strength anymore when you're using the side of your pinky. When you're first practicing it will look a little bit funny. You're going to compensate for that posture by really winging out your elbows, especially when you're practicing your scales and whatnot. But as you get more comfortable, you'll be able to keep that posture and drop your elbows down slightly. You'll never end up playing with your arms touching against your side and you don't need to you're not at a dinner table with people sitting beside you you're at the instrument by yourself so you got lots of room to wing out those elbows and work on good posture 